So this is how to add a quarter field to your Excel pivot table. So as you can see over here, I have a breakdown of the sum of cost of salaries by month and by year. And I'd like to also have a quarter. So what I need to do is to click on a date column from over here, right click and select group. And uh, from the grouping wizard that is going to open up, I'm also going to select quarters in here. And now what this is going to do is going to mess up my data a bit, but that's not a problem because I'm going to click on the pivot table and this will enable the pivot table tools. And then I'm gonna drag the months to the date, remove the years, and just hold the quarters in here. So as you can see, I've been able to add a quarters field and uh, I'm now able to use that quarter field how I like. I can drag it to the rows, for example, and remove the months. Uh, and this is going to break down by quarter, or I can also add the years to the columns over here and then I will just see how much I spent on salaries in each quarter of each year. So this is how to add a quarters field in our Excel pivot table. Of course, you would need to have a date column and to make sure that the dates that you have are formatted as date, but that's a topic for a different video. If you like this and didn't have any issues, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, let me know in the comments what your issue is and I'll try to help you out. And if you like more videos like this one, please subscribe.